Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Nick and on this channel I make content about online marketing, about growing uh, a company and a business online. And today I prepared this video which is going to be about the extensions for Google Chrome that I use in order to save time and uh, they're specifically for e-commerce so if you're selling physical products these extensions are going to help you and um, the first one that we're going to look at is going to be uh, commerce inspector and um, you can see the extensions here at the, in the top right corner in your uh, Google Chrome browser and it looks like a magnifier um, if you don't know how to install uh, Google Chrome extensions you need to go to your settings and then to go to um, top left and then go to extensions and again top left and go to the store and here you'll need to just look for the extension so in our case will be commerce inspector so commerce inspector and you can just add to chrome i already did it and how do you use it you just go on a website that you know is a shopify website so for example we're going to go to blue crate which is a really popular um, shopify store and if you if the website is built on shopify the um, icon the magnifier is gonna be colored like this and you can click on it and you're gonna see um, different stats and details about the Shopify store you're looking at so you can see this uh, website uses the theme um, retina and then the last product was added like a couple days ago which means that the store is active which is a really good sign if you're spying on other stores for products that you can sell and you can see other details about sales but for this you're going to need the pro version which costs um, which, which costs about $49 per, per month but you there are different plans and you can start with $1 I think just to try it out and then you can see details about products you can see how many products were added um, and when and then you can see the apps they're using um, sometimes by the apps they're using you can tell if it's a serious a dropshipping store or a serious e-commerce store or not so this app costs $300 per month which means um, they're really profitable if they're using this app it's called card hook so you can see the apps here and um, just decide for yourself if it's worth your time to spy on this store and then you can click on this and you'll be able to see best selling products of the website some e-commerce website would um, close this and would make it unavailable but they didn't do it so you can spy on their best sellers another website to spy on is um, Dude Gadget it was really popular but it's not uh, active anymore but you can still apply this extension so you're gonna click on this one and then uh, you're gonna see details they're using Turbo Theme um, by the way guys if you wanna check out there will be links in the description for all the, these extensions so you don't have to do any extra work um, some of them are free, some of them are paid, uh, but they're going to really help you out. So you can see the same details with this uh, really useful Commerce Inspector. The version I'm using is free, so all of these stats that I'm seeing you can see for yourself. Um, the second one we're going to look at is going to be Similar Web, which is another extension which shows you details about the traffic um, that comes to the website and this is how it looks like so you're gonna go through the same process you're gonna go to your uh, Chrome Web Store and type in similar web and then um, install this extension and you're gonna be able to see details about traffic so if we go to Blue Crate again and we go to the front page and then we load this extension which is similar web you can see details about the traffic so you can see they had uh, 3 million visits in August 2018 and then you see it kind of slowed down over time which means they're not running they're not pushing so much traffic probably because they don't have um, any winners any products that are winners at the moment where they are just closing down their stores maybe they found another niche and you can see other details like the rank of the website you can test this with any other website not necessarily Shopify website so if we're looking at for example google.com so if we go at google.com you can see that it's number one website global rank United States and then search engines and it's, it has 43 
than 64 billion visits uh, per month. Really useful extension. And the next one is going to be um, AliExpress product importer. So if we're, you're doing Shopify dropshipping, this is really useful. You can just install it. It's from Oberlo. So you go to oberlo.com, oberlo.com, and you can install it from here. You install the app with Shopify and then um, you go to AliExpress and you're going to be able to um, to just import products with one click so if we're going to type here for example photographer watch and then you see here this badge is going to if you, you're going to click on it and the product will be imported in your Oberla dashboard and from there you're going to be able to edit it and then it's going to appear in your Shopify store then after that when you get a order you can easily fulfill it with a couple of clicks using the same extension which is Oberlo product importer and when you're on AliExpress it's going to color uh, in blue and um, it's going to save a lot of time when fulfilling and when importing products if you're doing Shopify dropshipping then the next one is going to be pixel helper which will tell you if you install your, uh, your Facebook Pixel correctly on your um, e-commerce or on your any other website, you can install it. So if we go to, for example, the same Blue Crate, and we can see they have two pixels installed on, on Blue Crate. So we have the Pixel ID, and we can see what data they're collecting. And even though, even if you're not uh, using, um, you're not doing e-commerce, you can use this extension to see what other uh, data our websites collecting about you. And then based on this data they're collecting, they see that I view the page. They will show me ads if they have retargeting campaigns set in Facebook ads. And um, it not only collects data about page views. For example, if I'm gonna go to visit a product and add it to cart, so Pixel registered this action and they already know and Facebook knows that I click add to cart for this product. So they know they add, I added it to cart and they're going to show me ads with coupons, for example, to try to persuade me to buy this product. And if I'm going to just visit a specific product, they're going to show me ads with this specific product because Facebook Pixel Helper, Facebook Pixel, which they installed on their website, is going to uh, transfer data to Facebook and then they're gonna be able to pay Facebook to show me ads so that's how this process works and the next one and the last one that I'm gonna present today is gonna be Loom which is useloom.com which is a really um, one of the best extensions that I think is helping me right now so if you have virtual assistants and you want to tell them for example, you want to change something on your website, you're going to use this extension and just record uh, something that you don't like on your website or something you want to change. Or just if you want to send a video or a voice message or share a screen and send a message to somebody, you're just going to click here and record it. And when you're saved, you save this, you can just have the link um, in a matter of seconds and you can send that to the person. And it's a really easy way to communicate and to make sure your visual assistant understands what you're talking about and what you want done and it's going to save you a lot of time so um, i hope you find this um, review of uh, google chrome extensions helpful and if you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to receive more video reviews of tools that i use and more um, content and valuable information on online marketing uh, comment about e-commerce and um, uh, I'll see you tomorrow in my next video.